The following is an Ice on Mars presentation. Eric. Hey man, it's Mark from Houston. The Saturday Night Gang. Feels like a long time ago, doesn't it? I found your email from your website. Looks like you're out in L.A. now. Cool. I remember telling you you should be out there doing the California thing. You still with Connie? I'm in Dallas now. I met someone who works in my building. We've been seeing each other for two years now. Listen, the reason I'm writing you out of the blue is because I got this newspaper article in the mail. Maybe you got one, too. It's about Andrew. You remember Drew? Travis would pick him up most of the time. Messy hair, sort of the fanboy type. I didn't remember his last name until I got this thing, and now it's really disturbing me. Do you know what happened? Did you hear about it already? So begins The Dianea House by Eric Heiserer. This episode on... Dread Dialectic. Dread Dialectic. And hey everyone, welcome back. This is Michael T. Bradley. And this is Gix Medics. And welcome to our second, I think, mini-sode. <laughs> this time, we're going to be discussing the online uh, short story, I guess is the best term for sure. it. The Dianea House. Uh, the the author, by the way, is Eric Heiser. Maybe saying that wrong as well. So let's see. Uh, very quickly, dread.dialectic at gmail.com if you have any submissions, uh, thoughts, feedback, anything like that. Also feel free to comment wherever you see this, and hopefully we'll see it. But definitely if you have something you'd like for us to read, dread.dialectic at gmail.com. Quick little plot synopsis. This is presented as a character, our, our quote-unquote narrator received some emails and text messages from someone before he went missing like a year ago i think when this was written maybe a few months ago when this was written and he was like i've, I've been getting requests from a lot of different people so i'm just gonna make a website and throw it up on here and that's the conceit behind mm -hmm. the story you kind of have to click through and you see each one so there, there are plays multiple through. protagonists depending on where you go Sure, sure. But that's that's kind of how it yes. starts, yes. right? Yes. So, brief plot synopsis. Mark is uh, writing the narrator, and originally he gets in touch with the narrator because he says, Hey, uh, do you remember this guy who used to come to game nights with us? You know, he was this kind of follow-the-leader sort of type. Uh, anyway, I saw this story randomly in a Boise newspaper where he shot and killed this couple. Do you have any idea how that could have happened or what happened to him in between those times? And then he kind of becomes obsessed with that mystery and it, it follows his route, uh, uh, searching down the details about it. It's, it's worth noting, uh, before we go much further, the format of the story. You touched on it, but I, I, I want to be more, more uh, specific. The story happens on different websites, different blogging sites. Live Journal... DianeaHouse.com website, Blogspot, a couple others. Uh, they used to be more, but the websites went down, so we had to move them. Yeah, part of the conceit is that once we find out what's causing, you know, our, our werewolf at the end of the story, if you will, that other people have had interactions with this quote-unquote werewolf. It's not a werewolf. I'm just <laughs> using a werewolf so I don't spoil it whether the narrator agrees or disagrees, like one of them I like that he's like, this is absolutely a hoax, but I'll link it here so that people stop sending me this link thinking that it's real. Right. And and so there are these links to other things. Uh, so, Skix, what, what are your goods for this? I mean, some of it's nostalgic because I first ran across Dianea House without knowing what it was about. Uh, and at the time, I had never seen anything that navigated through through links and had like maybe different options depending on which link you you click first what order you read them in you know since i've seen things like that but it was brand new to me and so i was just charmed but i think it's really well written i think when we get into the um, the deep meaning or the deep monster at the end of the book i i think it's such an interesting concept i was definitely left uh wanting more it, it actually was written across a couple years because uh, a bunch of us, we, we'd read it, and then word would go around a couple years later, oh, wait, wait, there's more Dianea House! And they go, oh, wow, wow, yes, jump over to it. And in fact, uh, Eric Heiserer recently wrote a new story that links to Dianea House, and I got very hmm. excited about that. That's it's, cool. it's not a direct sequel, and he's writing as himself, 
And he says something like, uh, Because I wrote Dianea House, people think I want to know all their stupid, scary stories. <laughs> well, one of them kind of got under my skin, so I went to investigate it, and story happens. Which mm. I think is a nice way to tie it together. He's taking credit for Dianea House, which was a secret for a while. So all that... Uh, there was talk about making a movie, but that got stuck in development hell and is probably never going to happen, and I'm sad. Except they would have royally fucked it up, so that's probably for the best. I mean, if if you did it as a movie, it would basically not have anything to do with the thing that makes this the most fun, right? They would have to take an individual character's story and, right. and have that be the focus of the movie. Whereas part of the joy of, of this story, reading it as it is, is this is happening everywhere. Other people all over the place are having, and this person has a little more information, and this one has a slightly different story. And You know, what it reminded me of a lot is House of Leaves yeah. uh, by Mark Z. Danielewski. That kind of, the way that Eric seemed really interested in using form as part of the horror, much in the same way that with these sort of online ones, I, my mind is always drawn to Marble Hornets, and much in the same way that they use kind of uh, the low-res way that YouTube acted when they started doing it as a way to kind of hide things and as a way to uh, pass it off as more real, right? right? It kind of makes you go back and watch a video multiple times in order to see things in the same way that House of Leaves made you twist the book around and all sorts of crazy shit like yeah. that. Uh, I hated House of Leaves. I did not hate this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it had the same effect on me. I could see for sure if I had come across this, you know, 10, 13 years ago or whatever, when it was new and when it was being updated, I think that probably would have made it more fun. Much like with Marble Hornets, I loved about the first season, I think they call it. Then after that, it was kind of like, well, all right, I'm kind of done with it. Like, for instance, I, I got a taste of that with this because my favorite out of the things that are in here is the live journal story. Yeah. But when I read it, I was kind of like, well, okay, I know what's coming. And so, like, it was kind of ruined for me because of that. It's kind of the most coherent in one place uh, part of the story. There's something about the fact that this incorporated typos a lot more mm -hmm. that really made it feel like more than anything else that made me believe in the voice. Right, right. And it wasn't just a lot of, I mean, again, this was 13 years ago, so I don't even think that was a thing back then, but it wasn't just using the letter U instead of Y-O-U and things like that. It was just uh, like T-O-N-I-T-E, and I'm like, I see that a lot on online journaling. Like, that's feel that has a sense of reality to me. Mm -hmm. I guess filmically this would be close to like it's kind of trying to capture the paranormal activity, those sorts of things, right? That sort of idea of you're getting a glimpse into found footage or emails or whatever, right? Yeah. Let's talk about the bad. Uh, what, what didn't work for you, Skix? As much as I loved it, the navigation can be frustrating. Because if, if you're, like, de you determined to read every last piece, sometimes you'll have, like, one page with ha will have, like, a link and then a next, you know? Or, like, okay, do I follow the link now and go back? Or do I read now and follow the link later? Do I open it in another tab? You know, so that can be frustrating. It's not too bad, and it's not nearly as convoluted as House of Leaves. <laughs> but it, it is a, an apt comparison, definitely. It also can be frustrating that not many questions are answered. And again, that's going to be your mileage may vary. I think it's just right. And also, I'm a little mad that there isn't more. Because <laughs> I want some of those answers. I want the bag lady. I want more from her. I want more about the child and the babysitter story. Again, much like the Whistlers, I thought, it gave enough so that other people could play in the universe if they wanted while not exactly answering things. I mean, even the answer that we get, which we'll get into when we talk about the ugly, is really just a theory. Right, I right, mean, right. There's, there's no definite necessity that it's true. Obviously, the author put it in there for us to assume that that's what he was going for, but uh, in, the, in the reality of the world, there's nothing saying that that's what it is. Right. I mean, the, the, the title definitely <laughs> tells us that, that it's... Uh, and if, if you, you at home haven't Googled it yet, we'll, we'll shortly tell you what it means. For me, I'm going to say that A, I think part of it is that it aged badly. 
looking at it as I'm looking at it, it's like, okay, well, if if I didn't know that this was fake, then I'd be like, well, I don't want to read this. And if I, I know that it's fake, then it's just kind of like, well, okay. The first story I felt, you know, the main story, the uh, Mark and everything, I just thought was kind of cookie cutter by the numbers. Uh, nothing about it stood out to me. Nothing about it really drew me in. I, but I made it through it, and I was like, oh, this isn't bad. I mean, it's just kind of whatever. The real draw to it and the real thing that made it stand out is, I think, the thing that's now outdated. I, I felt like it about how you felt about Whistlers. I was like, it's fine for what it is, but it just doesn't... I mean, it just feels like, here's my idea, and it's okay, and done. <laughs> but again, I didn't hate it, and, and I, I read through it, so... Let's go ahead and talk about The Ugly, because it's so much fun to talk about The Ugly here. This is... I, I do think it's a unique and fun idea. Dianea, just say it that way. Dianea is the first half of the science name for Venus Flytrap, and the idea is that it's this house that either exists in multiple places or jumps around from place to place and lures people in with mysteries, essentially, right? Uh, yeah, they've got a few different techniques. Of, uh, it, they have a few different techniques of, of drawing people in. You, you got it. <laughs> That's the ugly. And it's a, it's a fun idea... Because, like I say, I, I, the, the, one of the things that I really like about, you know, like the Slender Man thing really impressed me, and I've, I've said it before and I'll say it again, one of the things that really impressed me is that it not only creates a monster, but it creates a monster that other people can play with. And, like, Lovecraft, obviously, is kind of the, the granddaddy of doing that, right? right? But it amazes me that even in today's world, people are still doing that in a way that works. It's like, this is something that you could easily work into any sort of story that you wanted to tell in which it's okay to have a haunted house, right? Right. This was far more unique than damn near any other haunted house story that I've ever read that I can think of. Um, yeah, I'd say so too. And of course, haunted is slightly... Weighted? Yeah. What one could argue that it's not really haunted, but it is definitely in the haunted house trope. Yeah, it could... It could uh, like, my own personal headcanon interpretation was that this was kind of like a, you know, a seventh dimensional being that we see little bits and pieces of, and it just kind of shows up as a house, but it's it's essentially just this being that intersects with our reality in weird ways, and it needs sustenance. Yes, uh, and it's fiendishly clever, and it's also vindictive. So, so like, the inciting incident was, was the, the character who shot the couple in the diner and then himself. Turns out that was... All three of those people were former victims of the house. Mm. And the house goes after people who escape. And that's also why the bag lady is moving so much. If this sounds interesting to you, obviously I'll link it below, but it's just dianea-house.com. Good luck spelling that, I guess. Google it. Google will get, get you. If you get close, yeah. Google will, will autocorrect to it. I, I really have no room to throw stones here at dread.dialectic at gmail.com. <laughs> right. Which is where you should write to us if you have feedback, comments, questions, or submissions of your own, whether it be novels, novellas, or uh, specific short stories. And again, going to try to get away from the online short stories here soon. I have one more submission that a friend of mine recommended that we'll look at after the next full episode which uh, uh is going to be my book i'll be uh reading and that's going to be death of a dark lord by laurel k hamilton but we'll get into that next time oh I, you know i guess i, I should ask though uh, would you recommend this to a friend Skix? Uh, i believe i did michael yeah, and uh, so, uh, so I definitely would as well. Like, for instance, the friend who's been giving me the no sleep stories, I was like, hey, have you heard of this? If not, check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. So, yeah, so we both already have. And anyway, until next time, this is Michael T. Bradley. And this is Skixmedics. And we are. <laughs>